Improving engineering processes, such as code reviews, can boost your competitiveness in the marketplace. You want to identify and remove roadblocks that impede your engineering teams. To do this, you need visibility into what's happening today. Engineering metrics can help you observe work in progress, identify waste, evaluate how well your team is collaborating, and much more. Whether you're looking at a tool like GitHub directly, or you've invested in a dedicated engineering insights platform such as Pluralsight Flow, first identify the questions you want to answer with data. You can formulate these questions based on one-on-ones with employees, team meetings, and other organizational inputs. For example, is the product team providing clear and complete requirements to engineers? Are software developers working on too many things at once? Are engineers helpful and civil to each other during pull request reviews? Once you've articulated the questions you want to answer, the next step is to determine what data sources will yield the insights you seek. As an example, here's an open source project on GitHub. Let's start in the pull request section. This is where most source code collaboration occurs. Although this appears to be a simple list of pull requests, you can find loads of relevant information in this raw data. You see PR status, whether the PR is open, merged, or closed. You see its age. The build status shows you whether the code passes tests and builds without error. You can examine merge conflicts, the number of comments, and much more. Additionally, there are a host of filters that may help you with the questions you want to answer. For example, if you filter by closed PR status and view the results, you may be able to see sources of wasted work. Closed PRs represent rejected work, typically because the solution doesn't fulfill requirements to such a degree that it's easier to abandon the code and start over. The root cause is often incomplete requirements or communication breakdowns. Also, look for PRs with high numbers of comments and read through a few to see if there's healthy dialogue and knowledge sharing happening during the code review process. Pay special attention to PRs with only one or two comments. Are teams just approving the code without careful review? Are they providing meaningful feedback? Make note of merged PRs with no comments, particularly when the work itself is complex. Lean and Kanban methodologies tell us that the more work in progress we have, the slower we deliver. Work in progress is actually considered a type of waste since you're using resources but not yet delivering value to the customer. By selecting the PR status of open, you can look at in-flight work and examine it for hidden blockers. Here's another example. This one uses Pluralsight Flow, which is an engineering insights platform. This tool takes the raw data from GitHub and other sources, looks at trends over time, and identifies specific opportunities for improvement. This screenshot shows a PR resolution report for a one month date range. If you don't like what you see for these 25 PRs, you can experiment with process changes and track whether those help to improve your velocity. Using filters and search syntax, you can gauge the interactions between engineers to get a sense for the culture of collaboration in your organization. This is just one example of the additional data insights a platform like Flow provides. If you're not utilizing this type of data today to evaluate your code review process, ask yourself why. What's standing in your way? To learn how other industry leaders are using data to improve velocity, contact us today to schedule a free demo and brainstorming session.